Welcome to this new series where we will be making a granny square blanket full of various squares. To start, we will be doing the basket weave square. You will need a basic size 4 yarn, a 5mm crochet hook, and a pair of scissors. To start, we chain 28. This chain does need to be worked loosely, so make sure your chains aren't too tight. For the first round, we will be starting in the fourth chain from hook and we will place a double crochet. You will continue double crochets down the chain. When you're done, you should have 26 double crochets. Again, when you're done with this row, you should have 26 double crochets. For round two, we will chain two, turn our work, Skip the very first double crochet and now we will make a double front post crochet. So you will work around the post of the previous stitch, not the actual top of the stitch. You need to make three of these. After your three front post double crochets, place three back post double crochets. This is the pattern for this row. Three front post double crochets, three back post double crochets. All the way until the very last stitch.
on your very last stitch, place a half double crochet into the top of the stitch. You're creating a nice even edge. As you can see, I did not work into the actual post of the stitch. I worked into the top like normal crochet. When you're done with the row, you should have 26 stitches, including that half double crochet. Row 3, we chain 2, and turn our work. Skip that half double crochet, and like the last row, we place three front post double crochets. Now three back post double crochets. And we continue this pattern down the row. Three front post double crochets, three back post double crochets. And when you get to the very last stitch, you place a half double crochet into the top of that stitch. When you're done, you will have 26 stitches. Just like rows two and three, rows four and five are the same. For rows four and five, you will chain two, turn your work, you skip the half double crochet at the beginning, and place three back post double crochets. All you are really doing is alternating your pattern to create the basket weave effect within the square. After your three back post stitches, place three front post double crochets and continue this pattern down the row. When you get to the end, place a half double crochet on the last stitch chain two, turn your work, skip the half double crochet, and start with three back post stitches. That will complete, then you work down the row, and that will complete row five. This square is about this continuous pattern. So once you complete rows four and five, repeat rows two and three. Then go back to four and five, two and three. It's just continuously repeating the same two sets of patterns until your square is seven inches by seven inches. If you need the written instructions, they will be in the description box below.
as you can see I completed rows four and five so I will restart my repeat by doing rows two and three again to start with these I place three front post stitches then three back post stitches and I continue this until my square is 7 inches by 7 inches. When my square reaches 7 inches by 7 inches, or as close as I can get that, do not fasten off your yarn. We need to create our first border before we can fasten off the yarn. To do this, we will pick up our work, chain one, and turn. In that corner spot, I will place three single crochets into the same spot. Next, I will evenly space 25 single crochets along the edge. Now, there are not 25 spots, so you will have to place a few single crochets together in the same position. All you need is 25 single crochets evenly spaced across the edge of this square. When you get to the next corner, place three single crochets, then 25 single crochets down the edge. Each corner has three single crochets, and I will show you how to finish off when you come around to the other side. When you're done, you will slip stitch into the very first single crochet. Insert your hook, Grab your yarn, pull through both loops. I like to make another chain, then I pull a large loop. Take my scissors and cut. Pull out the working yarn, and now I have a knot. The front side of this square is when your starting tail is on the bottom left corner. and your basket weave square is done.